Hello, hello my sweet friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here. Do you remember this gorgeous spread? So, so many of you loved it, me too actually. And who would think that transfer me sheets will be such a hit? Tons of you wanted to try it out, purchase it. Good news is, they are in stock in scrapbook.com, so be sure to check them out and the link is under my video in the description box. You can open a little arrow and the description box will, will unfold and you will be able to check it out and click on the links. I think someone in Dress My Craft was watching my video quite carefully because look we have another package so thank you so very much uh, for sending me another goodies that I can share them with you guys show it to you what's in the box what's in the making I love this spread I have to say it would be one of my recent favorites for definite a challenge but also what a joy to make so let's open it up I haven't opened nothing like zero I wanted to make sure that I wait for all of you that we can open it together let me start but let me mostly finish off camera so it's not gonna be taking this much time okay here it is I have no idea what's inside we can obviously guess that it's some transfer me possibly new designs which I really wanted to check it out I really wanted to see and show it to you Oh, sorry about that sorry about extra noises as always beautifully packed carefully packed so that nothing will nothing will bend and we are happy and safe here oh, I see papers as well wait 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 let me just grab it all Ugh. let's see so as I said good news is last time I think scrapbook didn't carry uh, the dress my craft transfer me yet but I'm pretty sure by the time you're watching today's video they are in the store so please the check them out uh, I am so excited shall we just turn it around or what okay let's start from this <gasps> it's the one look it's the paper pad from the actual door for, oh I'm so happy because I really love this one it was my favorite so as I said someone was watching quite carefully my video so thank you so much Lini just my craft for sending the goodies for sponsoring this video because without you we couldn't have these beauties oh look no wait no I don't know where to start let's just open it and let's see inside it is my favorite from them all for sure and they must have heard it and look this is also part from it, I think, isn't it? Yes! Two sheets um, of embellishments, elements to fussy cut. Beautiful! Let's open them as well so you can see them in full. These are two pages. Oh, wow! Going with it. Very nice. There we go. How beautiful! So, tons, tons, tons to fussy cut. And let's go and let's see the papers. Oh my, look at them. I think we should do some card making. This is such a pretty, pretty page. Wow, two of them. Oh, beautiful green, um, old kind of looking um, wooden, wooden wall or maybe some fence gorgeous oh, look at that it's amazing I have to say absolutely amazing gorgeous I love the size I love the size oh how pretty is that very mixed media -ish. it's my most favorite part of them all I think I've received previously few pads before but this will be my favorite I will be definitely going back to this one and crafting with it because it's so pretty let me just um, oh wow so two of each design this is old wall as well which is nice oh and the black one how different isn't it so that's lovely as well and I'm sorry for the extra noises that must be Lucas turning something <laughs> on and we have some wall as well with this beautiful writing and oh I love that Shalini this is gorgeous this is I, I mean it and the house as well we can cut it use it I'm into houses as well because I'm not sure if you have seen the sneak peek but let me quickly show you something I have the sneak peek I'm not gonna show you everything but speaking of houses sneak peek from 
my collection which is this one and it has some crazy uh, really strange really weird houses so here is one of them I'm not showing you anything more because it's not yet available but yeah a sneak peek is always good so I'm very much into houses and doors for sure but this is uh, totally my, my alley oh even this one pink and dirty and kind of old and wear out it's lovely vintagey wow I have to say my least favorite <laughs> but I have to say such a plain design as well is needed oh and this one gorgeous gorgeous roses and that's it but wow I have to say what a stunning pad I do believe possibly it comes in two sizes usually pads do come in two sizes this one is the 12 by 12 the big size big and rich oh wow I really really love it so thank you so very much for sending those I'm sure that all of us appreciate crafting with it so let's move this aside now and check the transfer me I'm gonna turn them around oh my this is amazing mm. look at them big elements I love it because it's a big full on you can do big canvases you can do big trays for decoupage you can do a lot with it oh look at them stunning absolutely beautiful I really was hoping for something like that because the previous one were different we will still use them because I have an idea for some um, ornaments for Christmas with the other transfer me but I'm not showing you not telling you much look at this beautiful vintage lady beautiful vintage writing cute little flowers they're looking like very hand um, painted flowers oh a teddy bear how cute is that if you're looking for altering some box for maybe kids for Christmas that's the way to go oh gorgeous gorgeous vintage rose lovely this is so pretty as well I love all the vintage flowers to be honest oh this is amazing B Queen B super very nice these are corn coronations am I right the flowers stunning all of them they are all so beautiful I can imagine tons of art journaling projects with it as well oh we have some Christmas well that's awesome because I have very little Christmas uh, stock yet I uh, I actually or made an order from scrapbook it's gonna come I don't know when to Europe obviously uh, but I made huge I mean by the time it gets here wow it is huge box I it's probably the biggest spending I've ever made uh, but I had to have certain things I wanted you to see certain things in life in life in the video so um, the video will be <laughs> up upload once it's arriving oh and these are so pretty as well so very different blue isn't it oh the apples imagine a tray or a clock altering clock with it for kitchen very nice very nice idea oh this is my favorite okay I may use it today uh, I love the simplicity of wording, embellishments, uh, butterflies, which is really moth and not butterfly. I love the kind of them, them, um, what you call these things, you know, like uh, elements for, um, oh, I don't know, you know what I mean. These are not like, not embellishments, like um, ornaments, yes, more like this. Oh, and the words, the letters, fabulous idea, I didn't see that. Oh, that's nice, you can just cut elements, small elements, fantastic. <gasps> Whoa, this will be my favorite, will it? I, do you know what, each is very pretty, <laughs> I got the same one, I love it. I will definitely use that so thank you very much oh and we have second Christmas that's awesome I put them together because we won't be doing Christmas today but you can have a look how awesome those are cute and pretty and for embellishments they are gonna be just amazing and I have already some cute ideas <gasps> yes I have some ideas next video I'll be recording will be probably Christmas embellishments with those really pretty so and last one is this one it's a black and white again so there is a way more color as I have mentioned with the previous video that there is way more color bigger elements you can choose a lot and flowers as well in comparison to the first uh, first go which was more like black and white which is gorgeous but I think it's nice that they have variety so whatever everyone likes I have no idea which to start with and what to create because this is actually asking and speaking to me like Marta choose me choose me like those two are my go-to favorite absolutely 
favorite and maybe even this one as well this one as well and this one as I cannot I cannot decide OMG I cannot decide so we do we use transfer sheets again I think rather than the paper pad maybe paper pad next time but I love it I will I can imagine some gorgeous cards maybe even today well maybe we manage some cards today sure why not so do you know what I'm gonna uh, get ready have a little think about what we're gonna make card canvas journal book page I don't know let's see let's have a think and I'll uh, yeah I'll be right back to you guys okay I'm back I have a little bit of a plan I have a canvas quite big and look this is such a perfect size for the canvas so I will be using this canvas to begin with and this image we shall see where this will go but we're gonna start with this I have <laughs> I have a tray, kitchen tray, and um, when Lucas saw that I'm grabbing this, he was, oh, what you cooking? And I'm like, mm, I'm not cooking, this is for <laughs> crafting. <laughs> he wasn't impressed. Um, but before anything, I have also a sponge. Before anything, I really think we should do a little bit of white gessoing. So this will help us to prime everything and make the, our canvas very happy canvas and then we can add some texture and some artwork afterwards and everything will be super happy so I like to do, the, do that and prime it so I'm gonna prime this which means I'm gonna cover the whole surface with white gesso prime it in places not in places everywhere so that when I will be adding maybe watercolors afterwards or maybe any other mediums coloring mediums wherever gesso is it will hold it will help out very much it's a great great um, way to prime your project to prime your surface to prime your base whether you do canvas mixed media canvas whether you do your uh, bottles where you and decoupaging bottles or um, altering them or boxes or I don't know whatever you like it's good to prime most of the time I would say <laughs> I probably would always prime isn't it I think I would so here it is let's dry this and I'll be right back to you okay our canvas is painted and dry let's get our transfer sheet ready and here is the back in case you never seen it before this is how we do it so you decide for your elements you cut it around it then take away this foil which is here dip it in the water then put it on top of the project face down and just wait till it adheres to the surface and just drag the paper and you don't then do the varnishing or whatever you like so this is how it should be done now my canvas is maybe slightly bigger but that's okay because if if it's anything bigger I can basically just go um, I'm thinking in the middle yes I can just basically go uh, in here like in the both ends that's okay and I also wanted to say that I'm not gonna be fussy cutting cutting this because it's so gorgeous designed as it is I think it deserves to be full on on the canvas because it's gorgeous we have some writing we have some old uh, text we have some beautiful mixed media -ish kind of uh, destroyed text if I can say in the background some hand written text and it's it's gorgeous as it is so let's just <laughs> let's just dip it in um, and let's just put some water in there I hope that's enough no it's not I have more <laughs> nothing to be worried I have more and this should be enough I hope now big surface like that honestly I've never never done it so I really hope it's gonna work but we shall see together we shall see because uh, I just wonder what would happen if I just directly glue it to the actual uh, canvas you know rather than rather than rather than dipping in but no let's dip it in a little bit I think mm -hmm. water is everywhere ish everywhere-ish okay and let's 
<gasps> no, let's place. Not not easy process, but we can do it. I'm sure we can manage it. No, is it not straight? No, it's not. One more moment. You need a little bit of precision and a little bit of, uh, I think, patience. That's all we actually need. Make sure that you stretch everything. Awesome. And if we need some extra water, here it is. We can just add some of that with the sponge. Mm -hmm. Not yet, no. <laughs> we still need some more water to happen. Some more water, some more water. Maybe I need to actually help it out here on those sides. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I need to help out. Same for this. I should help out here on those sides to glue it down. Uh -huh. This uh, paper should kind of start moving to you, you know? So. some concerns let me just maybe it's because of the maybe it's because of the gesso is it because of the gesso what did I do no let me see okay it's coming I think it's because of the surface or not or am I impatient you tell me because that's very possible that I'm simply impatient but <laughs> look at the beautiful image maybe I'm simply impatient Marta <sighs> oh wow look at that yes I am impatient of course I can see that that I could be way better in it but that's okay oh look You can stretch and get out some water when things are still wet and just oh wow this is so beautiful how very um, well how very well the image is I mean it's very it's um, way more visible than I have to say rice paper that I'm used to mm -hmm. wow I love that I love that. I'm gonna help out myself with the tiny touch of that sponge and help it outside there. Okay, I love it. So let's leave this to dry. It's beautiful. I could have been more patient and <laughs> just be a little bit more um, pres well precise, no, but definitely if I cut like maybe this part and just a little bit, it would be just better in terms of sizing uh, because it's a full page but I think I did pretty well I have to say and I just love the look of it so let's try this and I'll be back with some texture and coloring and yes okay canvas is smooth and dry everything is pretty but look dum -da -dum, look what I have Emily just came back from school. Hello. <laughs> and they were baking scones in school. Was it first time or? Uh, yeah. First time. Well, last week the teacher baked them and this week we could. Yeah, so uh, they picked on already because we've tried them. Of yeah. course, they're really <laughs> delicious. And but this one is a perfect Yeah, one. it looks gorgeous and it <laughs> tastes really, really yummy. Thanks, Emmy. Oh, that's after lunch, after dindins. Oh. Uh, there's a scone here. Okay, normally guys, what we would do when everything is dry and ready, you would varnish it. When you have project like like um, a bottle or maybe you do like a tray or maybe you do... 
I don't know, some vase with, a, um, with image and you would basically varnish it and that would be it. But because we will be doing some heavier work on it, I would like this to be pretty much secured. So I think using transparent gesso would be fantastic uh, because it will help and it will just, um, yeah, help really to keep everything in place. So I'm gonna be gently adding a layer of gesso, especially especially here on the edges well everywhere but definitely on the edges making sure that we kind of kind of seal the project seal the paper because we not well it's sealed it's looking great we don't need much but i think because we will be add, adding some paints yet again with the texture stencil we need everything to be kind of primed and prepared and ready to rock guys so this would be my suggestion what be to be done and so that the color will also last and the color will be on top i'm quite gentle i have to say although everything is dry and it doesn't move it seems to be really beautiful and very well put although i had some <laughs> i had some worries i have to say because a big surface like that um could be difficult now uh, when i think about it have a think if i didn't dip in in the water in the first place um and try to put it on the canvas once it would touch the canvas it would stick right away because it is sticky once you take the foil and i would worry that if i wouldn't put it straight i couldn't move it probably so that's one of the thing when you have a big sheet of a a graphic like this that dipping in the water helps you because you are still allowed and able to move it if you fancy changing the position and I wonder if I wouldn't add or dip in, in the tray with water probably it would be sticky way more it would sit on the canvas right away once I touched the first time and I couldn't move it you could see that I moved it at least three times I think isn't it so uh, that's something for you to know because I think you can directly, like with the tattoo uh, style, you could probably directly go with it on the surface but you couldn't move it or well you probably you maybe could but you you may end up with destroying parts of the image i wouldn't chance it <laughs> that's all i'm trying to say i wouldn't chance it uh, but just that's something for you to know i'm doing the sides as well a little bit so that everything is nice and primed and prepared and once this is dry we will add some stenciling because i think some embellishment the stenciling here would be just perfect and then we could maybe add some greens more green I don't know I, we will see but I think sky is the limit the image the graphic is so pretty and you can do so much with it you can really go crazy you can really use your imagination and do things beautifully so I'm quite gentle with my gesso but trying to be gessoing everywhere with transparent gesso and also what's important is my brush is pretty soft I really try to have soft I barely touch my background I really don't want anything to move I would worry it would, would move but no it's perfect it's beautiful yeah and I think we can leave this to dry or dry it with the heat tool and I'll be back with the actual stenciling part my canvas is dry and ready to be colored and ready to add some texture as you can see this for me looks a little bit vintagey like maybe some old house that the birdie came in some wall and I was thinking hmm wall stencil could be so good but instead of going like I would normally go for white heavy gesso or modeling paste or texture paste that is white I'm gonna go for something that is transparent because I really wish to keep my beautiful design semi-visible if not fully visible then semi-visible transparency of texture will help me to keep the beautiful design but still bring some texture and I can color it if I want to wherever I want to and I can decide then but as I said the design will be still se semi true semi see me a little bit tr see through and also I wanted to say that um, it's not that easy with the whiteness going over we don't want to cover too much so having transparent instead of white medium it will just makes it better and easier to work with I'm gonna use a uh, gel medium that is uh, transparent but it's also matte I think I like matte versions of workings so let's have a look let's have a thing so I'm gonna concentrate my eye and my thinking to the outside the most but of course if it's gonna go over 
somewhere on the design that's okay but as you can tell I'm trying to concentrate mostly on the actual framework to have things there we go in the frame so a little bit maybe here not too much maybe mm -hmm. then even more here I think I need some more paint well more actual texture the gel medium maybe here as well maybe a little bit more generous amount and you can see even now it is still see-through we have some texture happening but it's still see-through if something is sticking out then clean it off same for this one and if it's a little too much that's fine you can clean it off if you don't want anything to go on the side unless we're gonna go for something on the side but that's for later so you can see that we have I'll show you in a minute that we have this gorgeous beautiful design already happening I probably should clean my stencil before starting any more work but hopefully this will this will do as well so we are having some texture happening here on the side and on the bottom part lovely mm -hmm. <clears throat> we're gonna go for more here and maybe I will need a little bit tiny bit more of that texture that gel medium and then we have the top part left and to decide where and how much of the actual paste we're gonna use so this is heavy gel medium which is matte finish gorgeous looking absolutely gorgeous and if I feel like adding touches here absolutely touches here and voila looking forever beautiful maybe even as well here on the bottom like tiny 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 no I don't have enough paste <laughs> which I have to there we go super so we have the wall effect everywhere but as you can tell I still kept the design visible under the texture because we have used transparent gel medium and I can decide how to go with the color how much color I'm gonna add I will definitely wash this because this dries permanently and kind of very hard difficult to wash it off so I'll be right back after everything is dry yay I'm finally back I'm back to you well you think I'm back right away but it's been three days <laughs> I have to say I've been dragged into different directions creating pieces like this little piece it's only a sneak peek of something or this little piece anyway our canvas is dry texture is ready to color I'm ready to color I cannot wait to finish off this gorgeous gorgeous piece I have my gouaches Arteza gouaches of course my most favorite as many of you know and this is gorgeous color the same with this one I have mixture of my favorite colors here and the water that does not want to <laughs> Pray. maybe this will work yay so we have this gorgeous green at least I'll start with that green I should jump in with that pink as well somewhere along with it I I believe um, at least we'll begin with that so we'll see where this goes I'm gonna start with that pink actually just a little bit it is kind of like this Um, I think it would be good beneficial to add some touches of water here so a little bit of water so tiny 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 of color happening here there we go grabbing a little bit of green and look at that our texture is slowly appearing and I will be kind of trying to mix and match my pinks and greens so indeed I will be grabbing them both and not even changing water in between but I think that's perfectly fine not cleaning the brush that's what I mean and I'm gonna jump in with this side as well so let's see I have the pinks and I'm gonna be going probably here because we have more pinks here where the flowers are there we go just a little mm-hmm 
super. Oh, I cleaned the brush, that's okay. And just a little bit. So basically everything is pretty, pretty wet-ish here. And we kind of gently adding a little bit of color. Sorry, my phone is beeping, beeping. <laughs> Not sure if you could hear that. Okay, and darker or more pigment. Mm -hmm. I will probably jump in for some brown as well, I think, which would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, these are delicate colors. These are our pastelish shades. So I'm not worried that a little bit of color went into my, on top of my texture, the actual little cells, the actual little uh, bricks, not cells, bricks I guess that's the word. That's perfectly fine. Now I think we could do better with the color, so let's see if I can have a little bit of mixture color maybe here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that there. And we're gonna try to match something. How is that? I think this could be pretty nice. So we have a little bit kind of something tone going darker, that's for sure. So I'm gonna grab this one maybe. This is the uh, kind of like tealish. Oh, that's something already looking good. Mm hmm. Good guess. With the colors, <laughs> I'm a total guesser. I like basically experimenting. Oh, look how pretty that is now. So even a little bit more, even a little bit, oops, more, and there we go. And we can have a little bit of go here. Look at that. Gorgeous? I'd say so. I think it's very nice. Mm -hmm. We can have a little bit of that going here as well. So kind of darkish in here. Wow, it is gorgeous. I love it. I need to pause for two seconds and clean my nose. <laughs> so, back to you. So we have this kind of darker here and as well in this place. So why not? A little bit of this darker happening here and we're trying to build up a relationship really with these. I love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm. And we can spread it out a little bit more. Okay. Super. Super, super, super. Now, I think we could jump with a little bit more of that pinkish, peachy color. Even touching that green and seeing that kind of brownie mock. That's okay, guys. That's okay. Sometimes it's nice to just have a little bit of mixture that it's maybe not so beautiful or perfect or but it gives us some sort of mix and with these gouaches these are very forgivable so you can really try and really play around with the color you know just with the tiny brush a little bit of play and look how gorgeous that is a little bit of that a little bit of that and we have some nice quite interesting colorings here I think and this is not as bright and that's nice mm -hmm. super love 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 that I'm looking 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 and I think it would be nice if we could have a little bit of brown I'd say a little bit of oops a little bit of brown I think would be nice could be nice. Something, something vintagey. I think could could look just lovely here. Mm -hmm. Just looking, 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 looking. And how about we have some nice brown? That mm, something maybe not brown. Let me think. <coughs> Gray? No. Brown. I think for some reason this brown is too bright. This is too brown. Let's make some shade. How is that? Maybe this is a good answer. 
So a little bit of that, I can have it here. A little bit of that kind of, I don't know, it's not brown, it's chalky, chocolate, no, it's like latte or, I don't know. I don't know, I don't even know how to call this color. <laughs> But it's really nice. And I think with the decoupage, and this one as well, and with the decoupage and all, I think it's a mixture of colors when you're trying to complement the background. That all kind of matters. And you just have to keep on trying different shades. And I'm thinking, I'm very tempted, guys, to jump in with the brown, even darker. But also, this one is nice. Green. I also think this green is speaking to me. It's like, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I have this feeling that it could be nice. I spray some water in there and grab some somewhere here. Yes, I like that. There is change color. Oops. kind of matching our bird, isn't it? As you can probably tell. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking as well to get that brown. Let's see. I love that. Okay. Time to play. <laughs> this could be, oh yes, a joining accent between all of our beautiful shades. You probably will notice that as well yourself, that it's like this little missing puzzle in the color scheme here. Definitely missing puzzle in the color scheme. How that sound? <laughs> I think it's a perfect, a perfect um, sort of, uh, oops, sort of um, naming for it. Yeah, it's kind of complementing the background, complementing the bird, and everything seems to be f falling into <clears throat> into place now. Beautiful. Love. Okay, I think we should let it dry, or uh, we keep on playing a little bit and mixing the colors even nicer, even better if possible and then dry and I'm thinking to do a little bit of stamping what you think? A little bit of stamping in the outside <clears throat> also a little bit of um, a little bit of what's the word? Uh, a little bit of um, inking I think would be nice so that's what I probably do, but I'm thinking as well to add a little touches of that green in a few places here as well. Super. And how about adding that here? Maybe a bit too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really think it's perfect, good-ish. I'm looking, looking, I like that, I really like that. So let's try this and let's see how everything will be. And then we can decide. Canvas is dry, but I am missing something. I don't know what, but I think it's a lack of contrast still. So I'm thinking to use gray. This will, that's the same. So let's get some water. Oopsie, inside. <laughs> Nothing works. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay, very little work. That's okay. I can get some here. And I'm thinking to go in between the grooves. So that's the idea. Not black, because black is very... Um, dark and I think the pastelish look of this canvas is perfect and I love it uh, I think it's gonna be super pretty but I wanna risk it a little bit and see how it's gonna be if we actually go with the so I dried it but now I'm squirting some water again because 
I think we could benefit from having touches of grey in between the grooves. I'm not saying everywhere, but maybe in some places, so that our actual um, our actual wall looking wall will be looking like a wall, if you know what I mean. You see? Already better, isn't it? So we have this um, so we have this touches of water like really touches guys touches mm -hmm. and black would be way too dark way too much the grey is your answer maybe for the pastel look and when you feel that you need some more jump in back again for the same uh, for the same space where you've added color already I think it's the missing puzzle here big time it's gorgeous 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 I love it love it and I love how delicate the contrast is but it's very needed definitely and we have I'm going in between the grooves with my brush so that it goes very soft uh, in between running in between like in between the f kind of um, walls I guess the grooves walls Mhm. Mm so my friends I love this sort of looking after the answers seeing where can we actually improve the project and here it is a little tiny tiny improvement makes a huge difference you know makes a huge difference I think and we need a little wa more water here now the thing is that we should be drying this now this side so we can tilt other way so I will be drying that part so I can play again with the other side but before I do it I'm gonna add one last in a few places where I feel that it could be the best for the biggest contrasting kind of acting here and there Mm -hmm. So we're trying to control the um, the movement of that, that pigment, and there we go. And look how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna leave it this way. Same for here. So let's dry this. So right side is ready. We can start with the other one. And oops, <laughs> yet again we're gonna jump in with some water and start exactly the same process of adding the of adding the gray I will swoop up here there we go <laughs> so here it is if it goes too fast tilt it down your canvas you can just tilt it down a little bit and slow the movement and allow the pigment to mix up lovely with each other be happy with each other and because it's a watercolor this one is gouaches um, if you're wondering from Arteza there's links of course under the video in the description box uh, but you can actually see how beautifully the watercolors react with each other that's the beauty of the watercolor because they will complement each other but they also will react nicely create some different sort of shades with each other so that's really nice and if you feel feel as I said that it's going too fast just tilt your canvas down and slow down the movement slow down the spread of the color and just have a I guess pretty better control over what's going on and how the color goes and if you feel like you need more movement jump in with the water once more. As you can tell I'm adding the color at the edges so I'm not jumping in the middle of the canvas but I'm actually adding uh, the color at the edges only really. Rarely sometimes I would jump like somewhere closer to help out and move but I would still keep quite outside and um, yeah. <laughs> Gorgy so <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think the canvas now have the exact what I was missing, which is 
the contrast, the movement, the lovely background that that we see what that we see it so I think that's enough I'm not gonna blink more if you feel that it's far too far somewhere just wash it with your um with your um, tissue and also remember that because we covered everything with transparent gesso and uh, a lot is gel medium here as well uh, you can just clean off <laughs> easily so let's dry it now because we have this kind of whitish elements here I felt that adding white ink could be really really nice so that's white and black so that's what we will do I'm using my own stamp as you know the one that I cut in half and I have one one half is for white <laughs> oh look at that gorgeous one one half is for white white ink one half is for yeah this ink I should change it to really new stamp I have to say but uh, I keep it as it is it's okay yes I love it <laughs> my black is dirtying my ink constantly but I'm okay with that a little bit of mess a little bit of less perfection that's all good and we have some text on our actual image I love it so by doing this we kind of help out to for everything to be together very happy I hope that makes sense <laughs> and then I wonder should I jump in for the black right away or should I jump in for the gray one that's the that's the question that's the question I'm gonna go for black because we have already gray here so Oh yes, that's lovely. It complements everything. I love holding a, my stamp upside down. I don't know why. I just like it like that. Or vertical, horizontal, but this time I'm going for the regular look and all. Wow, I love that. Uh, I still feel it could be nice if we do a little bit of inking I don't know I'm gonna grab my inks let's try the colors I have three browns each is different -ish. although this one is distress vin distress oxide vintage photo mm -hmm. this one is just vintage photo it's more more dark so no and this one is walnut stain oh I definitely prefer walnut stain um, yeah, but I just wish to know how to do it right so that so that I don't have too much of ink in one place because I don't think I'm good at inking yet. <laughs> I hope I will at some point, but for now I'm still learning and. I think my mistake is that I don't take I or before I wasn't taking ink and I was going directly and I think it was a bit too dark maybe am I right now I oh, I'm sorry now I feel that I'm a little better so I don't have maybe this is a little too dark here but that's okay we can probably have this happening a bit more like you know but I think I'm better a little bit now with Mm, not over um, whelming with the ink but actually have this as an asset rather than oh my this is gorgeous so I mean seriously I was chatting and really concentrating not looking at the overall look and wow it is stunning very pretty very very nice I love that Wow, it is so nice. Oh, wow. <gasps> it's gorgeous. I mean, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little speechless, I have to say quite a journey with this canvas to achieve this really look where you are 
having the image that was given to you full beautiful as it is and making it your own and kind of dip it in and um, sinking in into canvas with the elements added by you that makes it special and unique I guess right oh you see and this is the one that I haven't dabbed out to the page and it is dark it's okay but now I understand my previous actual what I could have been doing wrong maybe I have been uh, rather than going here and to canvas I should kind of wipe off a little bit of now I understand and this this is perfect now off camera I've done sides as well a little bit about regardless the um, the water coloring I don't mind here the darker edges from the actual inking that's okay because it's nice aha uh -huh. super super I love it love it love it so I'm going everywhere just a little bit you know just so that whoa look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful I wonder do we need any title any outside title but I think I think I love what I see the only thing comes to my mind as well I'll tell you what comes to my mind I have to I have those Arteza pens and these are gel pens with uh, three different thicknesses you have to check them out uh, fine medium bold if you were fan previously to Unibol single I'm telling you this is a go-to now tool because I had them since a week now testing them out and none of that have disappointed me by stopping working I'm pretty shocked look look at that I'm serious look and let's compare with the uni oh well uni works great here actually if not better in terms of but I have been doing on different sort of mediums and it wasn't doing the, the best job for me in this test I have to say they both are the same but in the rougher uh, kind of um, rougher environment is that good word it was not as good and I was quite surprised that my uh, forever loved uni uh, wasn't performing as good as the actual uh, Arteza the new product so maybe you if you weren't the happiest with the uni check it out you we have the option finally something new so I'm thinking to add some sort of lines mm, look after drying they're really performing the same what I like is that you have three thicknesses with Arteza and as I said it did not disappoint me with the stopping of draw, drying, dry, mm, drawing on any surface I was like seriously zero so I'm trying to go where the paints are and a little bit like doodling kind of a little interest guys nothing more mm -hmm. so delicate drawings delicate love that super and I'm thinking how about white white <laughs> white 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 how about some white splashes we have to right I think we do have to I'm gonna clean off my brush and no matter more water or I use this one mm-hmm Now, dum da da dum da da Perfect. Tiny, tiny, just it like. Super. Except maybe this one there we go wow wow what do you say what do you say guys thank you so much for staying with me for this project it was such a pleasure such a pleasure to create this beautiful canvas with the transfer me sheets like 
seriously, I'm gonna show you in case you were skipping. I'm gonna show you quickly some designs in in case you have missed them because the choice is huge and now you can kind of understand more. So look at that. Understand it how much you can do with certain designs. Look at them. Sky is the limit. Oh, we have two. You can do whatever you like. You can mix and match them. Beautiful, beautiful. I wonder which will be my next. This one is gorgeous for altered projects. Seriously. I love, love, love. Oh, this one is gorgeous. Well, all of them are nice. Depending what you're looking for, I guess. I love this one. Probably I will use for some art journaling. Um, this is my favorite as well. I like that very much. So guys, sky is the limit and choice is there. Huge, huge, huge. Don't forget to check uh, scrapbook.com. They should have it. A link is below the video. Uh, thank you so much, Just My Craft, for having this video with us. I, I'm sure that everyone enjoys your products and thank you for sending me those gorgeous goodies. I truly enjoyed it and there's more to come I'm sure because it's such a pleasure to work with them. A different product and I like experimenting, I like challenging myself and I think the fact that they can work on altered project, same as canvas or um, art journaling project, that's pretty good, pretty cool I have to say. So guys, Till the next time, I'm gonna wrap up at that. Happy crafting! I hope you enjoyed time with me. Uh, which is your favorite? Tell me. Do you like the black ones or maybe you could like the colorful ones? Let me know. How do you like the? Would you like to try the transfer me sheets? Uh, or maybe you already tried. Maybe you love it as much as I do. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna wrap up here. Wishing you a beautiful day. Hoping you happy and healthy and safe please do mind yourself and your loved ones um yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go till the next time happy crafting i love you lots but i have to go bye